A great product manager has the brain of an engineer, the heart of a designer, and the speech of a diplomat. The quote by Deep Nishar, Vice President of Product at LinkedIn. So, welcome you all to yet another episode of Expert Talk series on product management of ISBR Business School. We have an amazing guest with us today, Mr. Gurudev Karjagar. He is a pass out of IIM Bangalore and he is currently a product manager at Mantra Labs. He has worked in Phenom Communication as a product owner in, in his earlier stint. We welcome you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank so, to start with, what got your interest in product management? Uh, yeah, Shweta, it, it's a good question. Uh, to be frank, when I was in college, you know, I thought, you know, I want to do something new products. Now, uh, whenever I see any of the products, I always go deep, deep dive into that actually, why they have built this and what they have made. So what is the use of those things? And uh, uh, in college days itself, started uh, building the websites and I'm applications, something like that, mobile application. And that led me to think in the product aspects. And uh, when you're designing or when you're developing an application for a, a college level, an engineering college, it's something that you know you need to uh, deal with the most of your, uh, I mean, your college lectures, department level, principal level, and chairman level. All these stakeholders are very important there, and we need to understand what all the, they need actually. And that led me to uh, think on how exactly a, a product should be and what should be done. That is how you know inclination towards my product journey. And after joining Mantral, Manipal, Manipal groups, you know, I again went on understanding uh, uh, what type of uh, products you know, we should take or take for. And there it was a quite good uh, journey there. And I think uh, that led me to take the new angle. Uh, that's really great, sir. So to add on with the first question, uh, sir, what is the best thing about being a product manager? See, uh, best thing about product manager is he should be very analytical thinking, should be very strong, and he should have a design sense, what he is bidding at, and uh, I mean, he should be uh, good at uh, uh, managing the things better, like, you know, there will be you, in our day-to-day -day activities, you need to interact with a lot of people, like different, different stakeholders, and you don't have any authority to deal with them. Uh, you know, UX personally separate uh, separate team itself altogether, and again, you don't have any. Your even your development team is also they are not direct. You are not authorized to order them or something like that. Okay, you are just a, you act as a client, and you are or a facilitator or facilitate to to build the product. In a simple words. Yes, absolutely correct. Great. So, uh, sir, uh, there are around uh, 1.2 million product managers in the US in comparison to 60k products managers in India. So, uh, sir, what is the skill gap we are facing and how can we fill that gap? Uh, that's a good question to be frank okay see what will happen what happened in US in 2008 or beyond that okay it was an era of startups in US okay now this is happening since 2010 i think 10 was just an initiation level and still the india is in the edge of that level and the people are trying to build new new products and new scale this around the globally and that was not that was a sort that us in the time of early days and india is taking uh, taking in that level i think uh, in a com coming days uh, we will get a lot of product managers in india as well and we will be adding more value to uh, the global uh, product system Okay, great. So we are also looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, okay, coming to next, uh, what? Uh, please throw some light on the importance of a course like uh, product management. Uh, courses like, uh, see, uh, as a as I told, the product manager is a he's he is a person who has a own he who has an authority who don't have an authority as well. Okay, so he owns a product. But he owns no one. No one. Everyone contributes for a product. He is a person who takes uh, takes the product to the market and launches the product market. But here, to uh, consider like you know uh, courses like you know he should able should have a good sense of the designing sense. Okay, and he should have an strong analytical things, and he should able to forecast what should, what he is building it, and what are the products that what are his core competitors are looking into, and how to price the product in a in a competitive way. See, typically it's, it's a product management is a completely a vast scope. 
okay it's, it's you are not dealing with the single uh, vertical where you are a, as i said you are a facilitator for all the domains you should have at least some go some knowledge on each verticals you know what what you guys are building and how to facilitate it and how to take it forward and all these things the, if you are uh, strong into the analytics say things understanding the business acumen and leadership is quality is very good and these these these, these thing, things are very important in product management without these things i think uh, there uh, any product manager can be a good product manager uh that's really great sir that's really great so uh, sir we have been noticed that, that there is a myth that uh, product management is meant for only engineers so is that true and uh, how difficult it is for someone with a non engineering background to pursue a career like product management yeah uh i'm uh, i'm against this one i don't think uh, engineering background should be a better one I, i don't think that way see uh, uh, it's like uh, if to give an example I mean, there are a lot of examples see product management in a company is something a new vertical that is going to build for a next generations so it doesn't mean that you know only an engineering person is going to add there are as a product manager you will be dealing across you have uh, you will be dealing with lot of people and you should be having a knowledge in dealing things leadership and thing these are important skills apart from this engineering will value will add a value very little bit when the time of building the products uh, and see uh, the as a in a product life cycle the building the product is comes in the mid of the journey okay so when you consider in the product and like initial level you you will analyze the things you know what should be built what are the things to be considered how you will want to place your product and all these things will take forward if being an engineering you only focus on how to build a product if you are really a product manager or if you are from any other, another fields you will be thinking in all the angles as well the person who knows see in in a, when building the product what will happen uh, the, the engineering team or a technical person or tech lead are going to lead it but as as on the uh, on the edge of the product management side or on the as a client you will be looking at how to build a product is important rather than how to build up, i mean uh, how you will be building it it it's like you will be suggesting this is what i want like say if uh, hindustan unilever wants to be build some new lob may no business okay so then what they will think it is someone is going to doing someone someone i mean if you want to buy soap, some some soap or uh, they say is in a separate uh, soap segment to be given for a female that's a new line of business there as a product manager you add a value there as well and on a digital side you again you add a value in a different different angles this is also i don't think uh, it's a myth actually to be frank only engineer can i i don't i i completely deny it okay so great that was a great clearance uh, so sir uh, if you could throw some light that what will be the basic skill sets that uh, we will be needing for get into into the uh, product management basic skills uh uh he should have uh, the business acumen completely okay what he is bidding into okay what are the things that he should consider while building it okay he should able to consider like uh, uh, he should able to forecast or wire, do a wireframe at the initial level so how the product should be and what are the things to be considered and what are the designing aspects should be considered okay and then how you will be placing your product what are the usp that you will be bringing to your product and how you are entirely different or that if even if you are not uh, entirely different or maybe your usp is not adding any value but how you will be placing your product in the marketing in a different different strategic way and how you will be reaching to the end customer is something is very important and these things to be considered i think uh, this 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 is enough i guess okay that's oh, that's fine okay uh, sir the next question will be uh, can a fresh graduate pursue a uh, product management as a career choice so what are the inherent challenges in it ah uh, see if you are a fresher he should join as an apm so where he'll get an guidance from the pms or maybe senior pm and so on so initial level like you know if you are in new to the uh, product management there should there are some lot of frameworks that he should consider like you know what are the uh, like you know if you wanted to do a swot analysis and the fresher will be not knowing what is swot analysis 
competitive pricing how you to price it product okay so in the pricing itself do you have four five kind of strategies and on top of on how to build a product in wire framing also nobody knows how to wire frame some few people you know no uh, wire framing is just a sketch on all these things but if you are considering and uh, considering going deeper actually again you have things like uh, things in, in a different way altogether the fresher can uh, can join as an apm and then he can take it forward his career in a, in a step by step that's uh, that's a good one okay so as you have said that graduate can also pursue so if you can also tell that what will be the roles that uh, the popular uh, popular roles the for a freshers in product management as well as the popular popular roles for the somebody with experience see uh, as i said uh, the path the product management path is it starts from the apm or even some bas and all these things can join as an apm as well or directly pm as well coming to the journey from the apm to the cpo it goes like you know uh, you join as a, a P- apm and then you serve for 2 3 years and then you become a pm and then you roll out for a, a senior pm and then you roll out for a, a director or a director and then you go or principal uh, product manager or a, a P- vp and then cpo and beyond this is a journey of the product management it all together uh, it, it, it this goes like this even a designer product designer can be a pro- good product manager as well even a ba can be a good product manager and so on it all depend on what vertical you are entering entering and how you will be scaling the products and this career path goes as as usual and there are a lot of opportunities as well on the uh, in this domain side and uh, you which we are observing you know and uh, getting the right candidate for the uh, the pm role is very difficult because he should have a entrepreneurial skill set actually if entrepreneur skill set the business acumen is not there then i think he won't build any uh, great product that will be impacting for a larger audience okay okay that's really great uh, we had a very, really very great great talk with you so sir before ending the interview we would love to hear from you what messages you will be giving for our students because all many of the students will watch this video so what message you will give to them okay good see i, I always uh, suggest uh, young uh, folks that you know whenever they buy something okay uh, they should feel what is the product is about why he has built it okay and what is what are the missing components in the the product even if you are considering the mobile phones when we are scrolling it okay we feel we think that you know this should be placed at somewhere else if your thumb thumb finger and the finger should be thumb itself not on top okay and the slim wise holding wise you should able to compare those angles as well and if you are looking into any of the website or any of the digital angle digital uh, component or a digital products they should able to feel is that is a right product this for a right uh, generation or a right uh, person so what is missing in there and what are the value that i can be add as a pm if i am going to penetrate in a, that particular market so these things they this these are the things that you know the young folks should able to uh, uh, think on okay if they are able to crack this uh, this code i think uh, I, even they are going to be a great product manager i i don't have any doubt on that side and um, moreover to be frank you know i when i started from my career right you know it was just an uh, even i was not knowing what is product management we all know that you know we want to build something great product okay i want to sell this product in the, uh, in this way and something we all all we all know that okay but how to place it how to build it and how to launch it and how to sustain the product is very important that they will learn eventually on a uh, uh, days and days it is really great sir definitely our student will taking as uh, advice from you so they will definitely work on this so sir we had a very great talk with you and uh, we are about to end this session the interview was really yeah, good thank so thank you for your great time sir yeah thank you thank, thank you, you thank you so much sir thank you